In today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate your maintenance calories. So why is this number important? Well, your maintenance calories is the amount of calories that you need to consume in order to maintain your current weight. This is especially useful if you're someone who's planning on starting a cut or a bulk soon. Once you find your maintenance calories, then you'll know exactly how much you need to add or subtract in order to reach your goal. Now there's two main ways to find your maintenance calories. The first one is to go online and use a calorie calculator. The only thing is that these can be off by quite a bit. It's just an estimate after all. The second way is to weigh yourself and track everything that you eat for at least two weeks. Find the averages from week to week and using those numbers, you'll be able to get a better estimate of what your maintenance calories are. Now the cons with this is that it takes a little bit longer and it's still an estimate, but it is a very close estimate. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a calorie calculator online, and then I'm going to show you the calculation method. So I've actually been tracking my macros and my weight for the past two weeks. So I'm going to show you what I do with that data and how I use it in order to come up with my maintenance calories. So let's get started. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Google, just type in calorie calculator. I just went to the first one here, caloriecalculator.net. So you fill in your information, your age, your height, your weight, and then you fill in this activity factor here. So this is where things can get a little tricky. Um, you know, there's, are you sedentary, light, moderate, active, very active? I'm probably somewhere between active and very active since I am up on my feet most of the time for work. But I just went with active um, because I don't consider myself to do very intense exercise all the time. So my maintenance calories came out to about 2,700 for this year. So that's pretty much the calorie calculator method. Very simple. But as you can see, if you're not sure which of the categories that you belong to, you can get some very, very big and different numbers. All right, so next we're going to move on to the maintenance calculation. So for this method, you need to track your weight and your calories for at least two weeks. If you miss a day here and there, that's okay. But the more data that you have, the more accurate that this is going to be. So I have two weeks of data, but I'm going to keep tracking for longer because I'm really taking this lean bulk seriously and I don't want to make the same mistakes that I've made in the past. So you add up all the numbers, divide them by however many numbers you have here. So here I have six data points. So I added all my weights divided by six. And same with the calories. And these were my average for week one. Next, we're going to take our averages for week two. So here we are with week two. I have an extra data point on this week. And as you can see, my average weight was actually pretty much the same. Only a 0 0.04 difference. And my average calories for week two were 3,041. Now, this isn't the greatest example because I can't really show you how big of a difference, you know, or how to calculate what your maintenance is off of this. So we'll revisit my personal numbers in just a bit. So let's start a new calculation where let's say I gained half a pound during this week rather than just 0 0.04. So let's say I gained half a pound. So my average weight for week one were 173. And then my average weight for week two was 173.5. So I'll subtract these two and the difference is 0.5 pounds, right? Because I gained half a pound during this week. So the next thing that I need to do is I'm going to multiply the 0.5 or half a pound by 3,500 calories. The reason for this is that there's approximately 3,500 calories or it takes 3,500 calories to gain a pound. Um, so you multiply these two together I get 1,750 calories. So that means if I gained half a pound, then I ate a surplus of 1,750 calories for the week. And what I'll then do is I'll divide that by seven for each day of the week. And then that's telling me that I was in a surplus of 250 calories per day. So what does this number mean? Well, if my average daily calories for week two, because week two is the week that I gained weight, right? But if my average daily calories were 3,041, then I'll subtract the average surplus per day, which was 250 from 3,041, and that gives me 2,791. So that would be my estimated maintenance calories. Now let's do this again with the numbers that I personally had. So there was only a difference of 0 0.04 pounds for me. So I'm going to multiply 3,500 by 0 0.04 pounds. 
and that gives me 140 calories. So I was in a surplus of 140 calories for the week. Divide that by seven, and that's a surplus of 20 calories per day. So that's pretty much nothing. Uh, so this, based off of you know this method, my maintenance calories would actually be 3,021. And if we go back to what we were looking at in regards to the calorie calculator, calorie calculator estimated that I was at 2,700. So pretty big difference here for me. So now that I found my maintenance calories, I can now decide how many calories I'm going to add if I'm going to bulk and how many calories I'm going to take off if I'm going to cut. And this is all going to depend on how fast I want to gain and, or how fast or slowly I want to lose. So that's the video for today. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll be uploading another video in the next couple of days where I'll be giving a physique update and I'll be talking about the start of my bulk. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.